Hey guys, Tyler here. Today, I will be answering you guys' questions to the best of my ability, and hopefully my answer to these questions in this video will be up to satisfactory. And hopefully you guys like my answers, because obviously, I'm a very complex person. So, let us begin the questions and answers for this uh, video. Does this collection include Sister Street Fighter? By the way, this is a reference to a video I did where basically I actually um, unbox and review the Street Fighter collection. And no, it does not have Sister Street Fighter. The Street Fighter collection from Shout Factory only has the, uh, the first three Street Fighter movie. In order to purchase like the Sister Street Fighter movies, you would have to get the set from Aero Video. And the set from Aero Video costs about $35. And it has the first, the second, the third, and the fourth Sister Street Fighter movies. So if you want to get that, those types of movies, you have to get the separate set. This is the first notification I got in for your videos in a long time. I'm kind of sorry to hear that my videos are not showing up to people's feed. In order to get like the notifications on my latest videos, what you need to do is go to the subscribe box, then press like the bell, and then after you press the bell, it gives you an option to get notifications for my videos. So basically just push like the bell to get the notifications, and hopefully like the videos will actually show up on your screen. If not, there's my social media accounts, which of course on Facebook, Minds.com, and Twitter. So basically, if you cannot get like the notifications automatically with the bell, there's also my social media accounts to get notifications for my videos. Yeah, freedom of speech is important, but any material made in order to recruit people into a violent and illegal ideology should be outlawed. I kind of have a few, a bit of like, uh, concerns about this comment. And the main concern that I have for your comment is that by your very logic, if, say for example, you consider the Quran or the Bible to be really bad books in order to commit acts of terror, then by this logic they should also be banned. However, I don't think the answer to combat bad things is to ban them. What if for a person, for example, wants to study the psychology of a person? What if they want to know like their beliefs and their motives on why they commit the attacks? If somebody, for example, purchased a copy of Mein Kampf, that does not mean that, that person actually endorsed the belief of Hitler. That means that that person wants to know a bit more about that person that they want to um, study about. If, for example, you were to make a black market by banning such material, more people would be interested in reading the material, and thus more people would become much more radicalized because you banned the material. So I think in order to combat these bad ideas, and for this case a shooter, he must criticize the ideas head on and not jail people just because they have a copy of the manifesto or because they have a copy of the video clip. Because I think, to me at least, jailing people just because of possession of a video or a manifesto is very authoritative on the behalf of the New Zealand government. Tyler, slow down. Be alert for this Vox party. It's not all hallelujah. Please do some more investigation and talk to more people and you'll find out that many sympathizers of this party wouldn't have too many problems with the comeback of a new dictator, General Franco. Vox may have some interesting, attractive points in their program in order to attract voters, but it's not Trump. It's not alt-right. The leaders are ultra-Catholic, ultra-nationalist, blinded by a Spanish flood. The main reason why I interviewed the Vox party on my channel isn't because I'm a supporter. Based upon these interviews, there's a lot of stuff that I actually disagree with the Vox Party. For example, I disagree with their idea of abortion, because personally I'm pro-choice, they're pro-life. I also disagree about making like the separatist parties illegal. I think that even like if you don't like separatism, that I think they should be allowed to have those parties because ultimately that's limiting freedom. I also personally disagree with their ideas about bullfighting. I think that Spanish bullfighting is very barbaric. Like, seriously, I think that the whole act is like the only thing that I don't like about Spain. And I think that the animals suffer 
the person who is the bullfighter suffers. So there's unnecessarily blood loss because of this whole entire concept of bullfighting. The only things that I agree with the Vox Party on is their views about feminists, their views about Islam, their views about immigration. That's practically it. Otherwise, the main reason why I spoke to, of course, people from the Vox Party on my channel is to make sure to have information about their party in English in a much more fair and objective way than the mainstream media. Article 13 is why it's good to be an American. Tell me about it, bro. Like, seriously. Between the censorship stuff in New Zealand, as well as the porn license thing in the UK, and now Article 13, I'm just so glad I live in this country. Because it seems as though that a lot of Western nations don't value freedom and liberty that much. It's just so sad. Because the majority of these Western nations, these supposed developed nations, don't even have a simple concept such as free speech or like a First Amendment. Your French is pretty good. Did you take classes? Um, no. I never took a single class of French in my whole entire life. Like the video that I did where I just, you know, said all these languages in that white supremacist video. Basically, like, uh, <laughs> I only could speak, like, uh, fluent English. And I also can do, like, uh, conversational Spanish. Like, basically, I'm at a level of Spanish where I could just do conversation and write text and, of course, stuff. As well as to, you know, translate the basic material into English. But as far as fluency is concerned, I'm not fluent in Spanish. I'm conversational in Spanish. I don't know a single lick of French. I never study French at all. Like, according to studies, about, uh, I think, 50% of words from English either come from Latin or French. And the only French that I really know at this point is the stuff that I actually... Um, that we have from English from 50% of the words that we have. For example, the only words that I know in French are like uh, bonjour, comment allez-vous? Of course, there's uh, Café du Monde, which is like a uh, famous uh, Louisiana restaurant. I also know like, uh, let's see, uh, un baguette s'il vous plaît. Of course, s'il vous plaît means like, uh, please, un café s'il vous plaît. And that's another example. Another French word that we use all the time is rendezvous. And of course, there's also that famous French word that people love to use all the time is coup d'etat, obviously. Also, the word table comes from French, if I'm not mistaken. Table comes from French. And of course, people say bon voyage, that's also a French word. So, whatever French that I do know comes from the 50% of the English words I mean, as the words that we have in our language. So, that's it. But I think French, of all the Romance languages, is probably the most romantic. I think Spanish is also romantic too, but I think French might have a slight nosh to it. Personally, I encourage all my fellow Americans to study a language. Like, seriously, it doesn't have to be Spanish or French, but any language at all. Like, it's so sad that we're notorious for not knowing how to speak a second language, like at least a second language. It doesn't have to be the most common languages that is spoken, just any language will be good. If you're watching this video right now, study a fucking language. It's like seriously, your horizons will be broadened by this, and you can communicate to millions and millions of new people by doing so. By the way, if you guys want to see my basic conversational Spanish skills, I've done plenty of podcasts in Spanish with other people, and also done entire videos in Spanish. So, yeah. Um, anyway, that's all the questions and answers I'll have for this video. And if you guys like this video, tell me down below. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Take care. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.